Concerns are growing among health experts. The U.S. won't be able to contain the monkeypox outbreak as a window of opportunity closes. The sole supplier of the vaccine is now saying it's unsure if it can meet demand and signed a contract with the U.S. manufacturer to make additional supply. But those doses won't be ready until December. The World Health Organization is raising alarms as well, saying cases have grown by 20 percent this week alone. In the U.S., there are just over 14,000 confirmed cases. Heading into the weekend, New Jersey is closing in on 400 cases statewide. But will the new actions by the White House be enough to contain the outbreak here? Senior correspondent Brenda Flanagan reports. It's a stopgap measure to stretch scarce vaccine supplies. By Monday, every one of New Jersey's 11 clinics administering monkeypox vaccinations will no longer give the regular one-shot per vial dose deep into the arm. The federal government's making 360,000 more vials of vaccine available, but to qualify, health officials say, Jersey must reduce each dose to just one-fifth the normal amount of vaccine. Garden State Equality's Chris Fuscarino's okay with that. We need to make sure that the vaccines are going to places that need it more than others, like New Jersey, who has yet to receive their fair share of monkeypox vaccines. And then if that also means um, lowering you know, the, the dosage so that more people can get shots in arms and that we can slow the spread, I think that's an important step. Clinics will need to get precisely five shots out of each vial. Also, they'll now give shots intradermally just under the skin. That's not easy, warns Montclair epidemiologist Stephanie Silvera. You're asking for perfection not only on getting that exact number of doses, but also to administer them perfectly as well. The CDC is under a tremendous amount of political and social pressure to provide something, right? So we were again caught on our heels. We knew this was coming. Um, we did not have sufficient amount of vaccines. 1.8 million doses is good, but doesn't get us necessarily to the number that we need to get in the arms of all of those who are potentially at risk, but still good a step in the right direction. Rutgers Dean Perry Halkita says using smaller doses does multiply vaccine availability, but critics are also concerned that the CDC's scientific basis for the switch is a very small study. It showed that while one-fifth intradermal doses of monkeypox vaccine worked, they were just 60% effective compared to 88% for the regular dose. Silvera says the CDC must make that crystal clear. Be open and honest about that, right? If we're, we cannot pretend that the intradermal dose is as effective as the subcutaneous because so far the data does not indicate that, but it's going to provide more people with access to the vaccine. New Jersey today reported 391 total cases of monkeypox. Access to shots remains problematic, particularly across racial lines. While whites account for some 25% of New Jersey cases, 41% of them got available vaccinations. Meanwhile, blacks and Hispanics make up 60% of cases, but got just 36% of vaccinations. There is definitely a disparity across race. And so if you're a white gay man, you're more likely to be vaccinated than a black gay man or a Latino gay man, right? People who had the means to travel further and wait in lines longer were able to get the vaccine. Silvera says transparency is one key to the CDC's regaining people's trust. The other is outreach. Anyone can get monkeypox, but it's more prevalent in gay and bisexual men. So the federal government's launching a pilot program, committing 50,000 doses to pride events in the gay, bi, and queer community. Halkita says it's taking medicine to the people. Right, disrupting this notion that medicine only happens in hospitals, that care only happens in hospitals. And I like that because what's going to probably happen with, is that it will get into the arms of folks who might not necessarily be able to get the vaccine because they're working or they don't have access. The monkeypox vaccine is currently two shots. And so we want to ensure that we're doing this in a smart way where folks are able to get their first dose of the vaccine. And then we're able to identify those folks for their second Meanwhile, with students headed back to college, sports, and dorm life, public health experts urge people to be careful of sharing both towels and hugs. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.